Now to a developing story out of Casa de Oro where parishioners at Santa Sofia Catholic Church are trying to understand why somebody would intentionally set fire to their place of worship. 10 News reporter Marie Cornell live on San Juan Street next to the church with how this is also affecting a number of students which go to the private school there, the academy, Marie. Well, Bill, let me show you. This is what the students saw this morning. You can see the police tape is still up right here at the entrance. It's also still right in front of the church, and they started their morning with a heartfelt conversation with the church's pastor. The person who set the Santa Sofia Catholic Church on fire Tuesday night may have temporarily shut down their place of worship and forced church officials to change their traffic pattern. But that person didn't extinguish the parish's faith. We prayed uh, for the person in particular um, and, and, and asked the Lord to bless them. Santa Sofia's pastor, Father Jacob Bertrand, says there was a lot of damage to the church's altar, which houses their historic crucifix. The fire also forced them to find a different place to hold a funeral, which was scheduled for Wednesday. They also had to break the news to their preschool through eighth grade students. I got a chance to speak with the kids and, and uh, share with them importance of praying for our enemies and, and loving our enemies like our Lord Jesus tells us. And you see they're at recess right now, so things to me look pretty normal. Now, Father Jacob says they have been locking the church doors after mass because of vandalism over the last couple of months. And he has confirmed that the doors were locked last night. Talking to the sheriff's department, they say they are still investigating. We're live from Casa de Oro, Marie Cornell, 10 News.